all candidates. How would you have voted on the recent IIT decision to sell nearly 3,000 acres to a developer? What do you know of this developer's history? Well, for punishment, it's been said up here that uh, you know the IIT should take take part in economic development. Okay, that project, if it comes to fruition, will be approximately 30,000 new jobs. Not not uh, minimum wage, serious pay. So we owned the ground. They wanted it because it was ours was contiguous. They needed one. We were the only people that had that money in the area they wanted. So we yes, we have we voted to go forward with that, along with the, the power purchase agreement with uh, CPR Geothermal that will bring in another 130 jobs. We just did that two weeks ago. So we're here. We're for economic development. We have to. This is not new. We've been doing this all along. Thank you. I share much of the, the views um, that Director Galindo made at the last meeting regarding the importance of preserving irrigated agriculture and irrigated agricultural land in Imperial Valley. The proposed project has uh, perhaps within its boundaries about tens of thousands of acres. Once that land is taken out of production, if it is, the water is turned off. At that point, there's very few other uses in Imperial Valley for that water. And as was alluded to earlier through the priority system, that water slips through our fingers and goes to Coachella and the Metropolitan Water District of Southern California. That's gravely concerning for me. We have large amounts of land on either side of our valley, in the East Mesa and the West Mesa, for which many of these projects could be done. But when you take that land out of production, you lose that water too. With respect to the uh, potential development of the Inland Port of Southern California, uh, it does have the potential to have a huge, uh, really uh, almost unquantifiable impact over time with 30,000 jobs and full build out in Imperial County. Now, I think it's important to understand that what the IID board did was not, in fact, sell the property already, but they agreed to enter into an option agreement for the developer to purchase the ground for a price of about $7,373 per acre, which is uh, the result of appraisals that were done on the property. Uh, but because it's an option agreement, I think that as it was first presented, there were some issues, but as it came back to the board where the option money was non-refundable, $100,000 per year, not to exceed six years, and with other outs that the IID has built into the, the contract, this is where a really well-written contract can save you regardless of uh, issues that might come up down the road that we can't possibly know about now. So as it was presented to the board, I would have absolutely voted yes. Here, here. question becomes though, are these going to be local jobs? And I understand that there may be some highly technical jobs, about 10,000 jobs. They bring all the people in from the outside. So I think we need to be very clear about this. They bring about 10,000 jobs. How are you young people and the young people in the Imperial Valley positioning themselves? So I think it's critical. down to that land down there, uh, the reason it doesn't produce the vegetable crop, the high dollar crop, is because it's hard, it's very, very hard. It's the least coveted ground in Imperial County to try to make a living on. You can make a living on it, you're not going to make a good living on it. It's hard. Now, the economic Everybody else got more 
Uh, well, anyway, oh, okay. The the economic difference between that farm and that hard ground versus what this will bring in and the jobs this will bring in. There's no way in God's good earth you're going to have thirty thousand jobs on two thousand acres Amen. while you're farming. Amen. Amen. Uh, okay, just to clarify, I just want one minute rebuttal. Sorry. I also did share. No, 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 I did. I was heard. Uh, share some concerns on that. There are small, and I talk small family farmers, they're not large in scale at all, and they do have a connection to that land. They value that land. It's currently owned by the Imperial Irrigation District, it's held in trust, it's owned by all of us who uh, live here in Imperial Valley, and I think they deserved a shot, and they weren't giving that, and I think that's unfortunate. Well, I cer certainly uh, have compassion for the plight of these small tenant farmers that farm on this IID land. I think it's important to note that they're leasing this property from anywhere from $85 to $130 an acre, which is some instances, less than half of the going market rate. And it, this is exactly the kind of difficult decision you need to be able to make as an IID board member. You have to be able to look someone in the eye and say, I am very sorry for the consequences to you, but this project has the ability to create 30,000 jobs and I have to do what's right for the community overall, despite the fact that I respect your plight and the IID can't continue to subsidize your rent when it's going to affect uh, uh, the jobs potentially of 30,000 people. Yeah. Yeah.